Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to episode 5 of Chasing Games Radio. Today we've got an amazing guest, he's uh, one of Australia's top sports physios, and he's going to go through some amazing content today talking about specifically rock tape. So I was going to talk about the how, the why, the what, um, who can it work for, all this kind of information on rock tape, how it can increase your performance, uh, who it can be used for, so it can be used for pregnant women, all these kind of things, athletes, different types of taping. A lot of great content for those performance athletes out there and trainers who are looking to increase the performance of their uh, clients or athletes. So it's going to be a great uh, podcast. Be sure to listen right to the end and get some great information and learn all about rock tape and the benefits to you. Chasing Gains Radio, the insatiable quest for constant progression. Chasing is the act of pursuing. Gains is the result or positive outcome. Chasing Gains Radio. Here's your host, Cody McAuliffe. Hey guys, welcome to episode five of Chasing Gains Radio. We've got an amazing guest today. So we've got uh, Steve Stahl, uh, who's the director of of education with uh, Rock Tape. He's actually uh, had some experience with some professional sports teams as well. So I think it, I believe, the Richmond Lions and the AFL and the Cronulla Sharks and the NRL. He also um, works in private practice uh, and is a director at Rock Tape Australia. Uh, and his main role with Rock Tape is actually to educate the health professionals on how to use Rock Tape as effectively as possible. And he develops the presentations and runs through all the training and development for people um, and practitioners who want to use rock tape. Uh, so thanks for joining us, Steve. That's right, no problem. Uh, do you mind giving us a, uh, a bit of a brief rundown about your history in the health and fitness industry? Sure. Um, I've been a CEO for about 20 years now. Yeah. Uh, had probably the last um, four or five years as a sports physio. Yep. Uh, and that was where I did a, a little stint as part of my masters with um, with Richmond in the AFL Tigers rather than Lions Richmond Tigers oh, but Tigers, close <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and Cronulla Sharks so um, yeah otherwise I work in a, a fairly general private practice um, at the front of a sporting gym complex so we see lots of different uh, athletes and, and non athletes um, and yeah and then I've been doing rock tape stuff for the last uh, five years as well yeah awesome so. Can you explain what rock tape actually is? Rock tape is a kinesiology tape. Um, there's a number of kinesiology tapes on the market now, and rock tape is one of um, those where um, pro- we pride ourselves on having a premium product. We use um, premium nylon and cotton blend, um, yeah. which means the the tape is generally stickier, stretchier. Um, it's made in Korea, so yeah. it's um, got good quality control. Um, and last the distance through Ironman events. It should stick for three to five days, no matter what you really throw at it. So, um, yeah, that's that's it in a nutshell. Okay, awesome. So um, what does kinesiology or rock tape do then? The main benefit is the, the lifting effect or the decompression sort of effect on the skin. So yeah. there's a lot of research around kinesiology tapes now, um, some of it showing some good effect. Um, typically, if it's if it's applied to somebody who's in pain or or has some injury, then there's some good effect. If yeah. when, with a lot of studies, when they put it on healthy people and then they retest whether that makes them stronger or can jump higher or grip harder, well, of course it doesn't because if you're healthy in the first place, you don't need that extra little bit of assistance. Yeah. Um, it's only when there's pain in an area that's limiting your performance that you really need to have something in addition um, that might improve your performance a little bit. So uh, the the real effects seem to come from this lifting effect. So when it's applied on the skin um, and then the the elastic nature of the tape recoils, it creates the lifting effect, um, a decompressive effect underneath the tape. Okay, cool. So it's more um, specific to people who have injuries, I guess, then? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the main thing that it seems to help healthy people with is lessening the effect of fatigue. So yeah. that's really, if the studies that have been looked at, say, healthy tennis players and taping their forearms have found that their grip strength is better, they don't get as fatigued when the tape's in place. Yeah. 
but it takes a number of repetitions to get to that point. So if you are doing a a distance event or a repeated effort event, then taping a healthy person might help in that as they fatigue, they effectively become compromised and that's where the tape on the skin can can give some benefits. So, um, yeah, immediate effect. If we taped your forearm and retested your grip strength, it would likely be no better. Yeah. But if we made your grip 100 times, it would probably make it fatigue less so the yeah. drop-off in your performance would be less. Okay, cool. So it would be like, great for endurance athletes and more than strength. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so- All right, let's try that again. Cool. All right, so my history with rock tape is I'd had it applied by uh, allied health professionals in the past and had great results with it. Uh, however, just whenever I tried to uh, apply it myself, I just didn't get the same results. So I actually uh, looked at doing the rock tape course. So we'll go into a bit more detail uh, about the courses that they offer as well. So from that, I learned a lot more about rock tape. Um, and how it was applied and how you, the best methods to be able to apply that to people and the results you can kind of get from that and uh, learn a lot more about the, the science behind it as well and got some great information from that. Um, so do you mind going into a bit of detail about, um, say, like what, what, are, what are some of the injuries that can be managed with rock tape? Uh, there's, there's lots really. Um, so you can start with things, common injuries like knees, shoulders, low backs, um, that, that a lot of people have issues with. Um, essentially, any muscular injury, so hamstring, calf, um, yep. tendon injuries like Achilles tendons, rotator cuff type problems. Yep. Um, so really, any any area that has pain could be benefited by applying rock tape. Yep. And we, we definitely say that it's it's an adjunct to your other methods as well. So it's not going to be the thing that fixes an Achilles tendon, but it can help to reduce the pain while you do your rehab exercises. So it's just part of the rehab um, that you need to do for a lot of uh, injuries anyway, but it can help reduce the pain to get you moving a little bit quicker and more effectively. Okay, cool. Um, So is there only like one technique for doing rock tape or is there multiple techniques, different taping techniques or...? Yeah, essentially the process is quite simple and I think a lot of people are scared off from um, applying the tape because they think it's complicated. Um, and as you say, when, when somebody really knows what they're doing, an allied health professional or someone who's taped a lot, yeah. uh, generally their results will be better than somebody who picks up the tape for the first time today and, and tries to have a go with it. So practice yeah. does make perfect. But it is really quite simple and, and we do have a number of videos on the website that people can look at and learn how to tape for various conditions. Obviously, the allied health professionals or fitness professionals who have a bit of anatomy knowledge can can sort of think outside the square a little bit and adapt things more and and sort of change the the technique, tweak it a little bit to suit the the injury perhaps a little bit better. Uh, But generally speaking, people can apply the tape pretty easily to themselves because it's not that complicated. Uh, we, We sort of have two different processes I suppose is one that if you if you're taping for pain or, or like we said for that endurance uh, reducing fatigue that we yeah. talked about before you generally place the body part on stretch and yeah. don't apply much stretch to the tape yeah. and that way when the body part comes back to a neutral position it creates a lot of the uh, convolutions in the skin and yeah. that that sort of demonstrates the lifting effect. Yeah, cool. um, whereas the opposite from that, if you're taping to try and remind someone about their posture yeah. um, or, or improve their form or technique for a particular um, uh, exercise or activity, then yeah. you might be trying to put them in the position that you actually want them in. So perhaps sitting up straight or, yeah. or you know, the, the right position for their shoulders for a lift or something like that and then taping them into that position so that when they get out of that position they feel the tape stretch and yeah. they, they kind of get back into it so i guess for, for pain or fatigue you're putting the body part on stretch yeah. and not stretching the tape very much whereas for a posture or a technique correction you might be putting the body part in the desired position which is often shortening it a little bit yeah. and then taping it with a little bit of stretch again just to remind them of the position so it's two two kind of different scenarios that you might use yeah okay cool um so one of the taping methods that you guys kind of recommend is power taping for athletes. Can you go into a little bit more detail about that? 
Sure. Power taping is taping along chains of muscles. Um, we often base in the courses the loosely base the, uh, the power taping on um, Tom Myers anatomy trains, if people are familiar with that. Yeah. Basically, there's a number of different researchers now that have, have sort of formulated a, a, an idea that muscles don't actually just start and finish in one section on bone, but yeah. one muscle kind of blends into the other and that blends in to the next one along the line. So yeah. essentially to transmit force along across the body or along a limb in a throwing or kicking type action, then it's it's sort of this cumulative load where, where force gets transferred along the fascia and, and the muscular connection. So essentially we're using pieces of tape that might be a metre or a metre and a half long yeah. uh, that might go, for example, from the bottom of the foot up through the calf, hamstring, through the glute into the low back. So it's connecting that posterior chain yeah. through its entirety. So uh, the idea behind this is, again, more about performance and, and reducing fatigue, just getting that neuromuscular efficiency for people who are doing endurance-based tasks, yeah. um, but potentially even power-based activities because you can sequence the muscles perhaps a little bit better. And there hasn't been a lot of research into power taping, but the few pilot studies that have been done have shown some you know, really nice improvements on elite technique and elite uh, performance uh, in reducing the fatigue that usually comes with that. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so can um, uh, rock tape be used for uh, any other populations like pregnant women or people who are uh, recovering from surgeries or anything like that? Yeah, definitely. So there's a, a way of taping to try and reduce edema as well. Um, that's where we cut the tape into to little fingers um, and uh, and apply the tape over the area of swelling or bruising. And that seems to have a really nice effect of reducing swelling quite quickly. So that could be someone who's had an acute injury like an ankle sprain or a corky, um, or it could be somebody post-surgery. Um, also, um, lymphedema population, so people who've just got swelling because of um, perhaps a surgery they've had in the past, um, which often is around some lymph nodes and things. So, um, yeah, any any of the uh, swelling type um, injuries or areas can be dealt with with um, an application with rock tape as well. Um, certainly the that same application of, of cutting it into the, the jellyfish as we say yeah. um, that can also be used to try and prevent uh, DOMS as well so that yeah. soreness, the delayed onset muscle soreness you get after a unaccustomed activity or heavy training yeah. particularly eccentric type loading then this seems to be really helpful in reducing the, the soreness after it so certainly the recovery side of it um, is utilised by some people so it's interesting that that's completely opposite to the idea of compression with yeah. um, with compression garments and things like that. We're really talking about more of a decompressive effect to try yeah. and get, get better blood flow and, and flush out uh, waste products. So, again, not, not highly studied yet, but uh, yeah. something that could have some, some interesting um, applications down the track. Um, yeah. And as you mentioned, the pregnancy, uh, we've got a whole section in our taping manual and we do cover that in our courses as well of, of how to tape for different applications for pregnant women as well. Yeah. Um, so with the uh, pregnancy taping, um, what's the, the benefit behind that, I guess? Is it just uh, decreasing load on the tight muscles or...? Yeah, certainly, particularly in the end stage of... Um, Pregnancy with sort of seven, eight month and, and getting into the ninth month before um, before the baby's born where where the um, abdomen's quite distended really with the pregnancy. So in that late stage, the, um, the, the muscles are obviously under a lot of load, under a lot of strain and stretch. So taping across the belly can be really helpful in just providing a little bit extra support. Um, and then there's things that... Uh, that pregnant women sometimes get carpal tunnel syndrome, swollen ankles that, that can be, and back pain that can be all um, helped with uh, with rock tape as well. Okay, cool. Um, so you mentioned earlier that it, you, rock tape tries to uh, be stuck on for three to five days. What, what are the best tips for um, making sure it actually stays on that long? Um, and is there, do you have like any um, rock tape? Uh, that is more accustomed to like uh, sweaty athletes or people doing water sports? Yeah, so the, um, the best tips for making the tape stay on is certainly getting it on 
a, a well before your exercise, so an hour before uh, land-based sport and a couple of hours before water-based sport, if possible, um, particularly in humid environments too. If you can get it on inside, if you're in air conditioning or in a reasonably uh, non-sticky situation before you get out into the humidity, it's it's good to have it on as, as long before the event as possible. Yeah. Um, we do have a, a H2O version, which is stickier, so yep. more adhesive to try and make sure it stays on for demanding sports or sweaty athletes or particularly water-based sports. So the standard rock tape is quite okay to swim in for most people, but for water polo, diving, you know, high demand sports in the water then, uh, or if someone was going to do an endurance sport like a uh, surf life-saving event, Ironman type event like that where it's in and out of the water a lot, yeah. then the stickier version is probably safer to use just to, to make sure it stays on better. Yeah. Um, so other little tips include rounding the corners so that you don't have those sharp edges to catch. That yeah. that helps to keep it on for longer. Um, so your clothing or towels or sheets don't, don't lift the edge of the tape. Uh, one of the most important things is to make sure that you have the first two and a half to five centimetres, so the first inch or two of the tape yeah. without any stretch. So you apply yeah. that first with no stretch on the tape at all and then apply really light stretch through the rest of the tape. The, because the tape's so stretchy, most people want to use all that stretch yeah. and really pull the tension out of the tape as they apply it. Yeah. Uh, but it actually tends to, to make itself lift off if you do that and it, and it can certainly uh, result in skin uh, issues if there's too much traction on the skin. Yeah. Um, the other thing with this tape is it sticks better to skin than it does to itself, which is different to rigid tape. So if you're used to using rigid tape around an ankle or something like that for footy, then you often have to start and finish back on on the, the same pieces of tape, yeah. like anchor pieces and things like that. With rock tape, you basically want to start and finish on skin because yeah. if you start and finish on another piece of tape, it's more likely to lift. So it might last for half a day, but then that will be the pit, the bit that starts to lift. And once that lifts, then the rest of it will come off very quickly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, would you mind explaining um, pain gate theory? Um, so we'll cover that in the course, and I think that would probably be some, something good for people to learn a little bit about. Sure. Pain gate theory is, a, is something that was sort of put out well, over 50 years ago now, but it was uh, it's still something that's really easy to think about. And if you if you bang your arm on the door, if you walk through it, you you naturally want to rub your arm. So your instinct is to to rub the arm where where you hit it, yeah. uh, and that actually doesn't provide you any benefit to the fact that you've just hit your arm on the door jam. But yeah. the rubbing sensation gives you a more pleasant sensation to think about. And the theory that, that, that they put forward was that you're actually activating different receptors in your arm by rubbing it. You're getting a pleasant sensation and that pleasant sensation travels along different nerves to what the pain sensation travels along. Yeah. And when they get to the spine and when they get to the brain, the, the pleasant sensations get through first. So yeah. they basically get the, the clear run to the brain and the pain signals get jammed, they can't get through So because the, the gate is shut because the yeah. other ones are going through the other pleasant sensations. So that's kind of the, the background on things like TENS machines and those sort of things too that provide a, you know, an electrical stimulation and that electrical stimulation overrides the pain. It gets to the brain faster and the pain can't get through, so so temporarily you can feel good. Yeah. Uh, so the, the idea with the tape too is when you apply the tape to the skin, anything that's applied to the skin will create uh, tactile stimulation so your, your brain is aware there's something on the skin. Yeah. Uh, and if that is able to send messages through to the brain uh, that are pleasant uh, because it's not a painful stimulus, then that can block the transmission of some of the pain. And, and this is how we think that uh, the rock tape has a, a major effect in reducing pain is that it, it has that lifting effect on the skin that stimulates mechanoreceptors and that those mechanoreceptors that tell you about you know, touch, vibration, movement, all those things that aren't painful stimulus, yeah. they get through to the brain and the, the pain-stimulated ones don't get through at all. Yeah, okay, awesome. Um, in regards to, uh, like, education on rock tape, 
what kind of courses does Rock Tape offer on uh, for practitioners, personal trainers, or just athletes? Uh, we've a number of different courses. So we've got half day courses, uh, full day courses, and we do have a number of advanced courses that run around the place as well. Um, the main courses we run are the half days and the full days. Um, in that, most people can come out of the course feeling confident to apply the tape to themselves or other people. Uh, the courses are really designed for practitioners, but lots of people who, um, practitioners and fitness professionals, but a lot of people who don't really have any background of being a practitioner or, or fitness industry person can still attend. Um, so we have coaches, we have athletes come just for their own benefit of learning how to apply the tape for themselves. Uh, we have parents sometimes come who want to learn how to apply the tape to their kids and, yeah. and their kids' friends and things like that in sporting teams. So so whilst we do pitch the, the content, some of the content uh, is sort of scientific-based and theory-based that the practitioners and, and fitness people will understand, uh, some of the, the content is um, a little bit harder for the lay person to, to get their head around, but they'll still be able to practice all the different taping techniques. Yeah. And as we said at the start, the taping techniques are really simple and by the time you've practised half a dozen different taping uh, techniques in the course, you start to become a lot more confident and familiar with how to, how to apply the tape. Um, so certainly people who want to attend who don't have a health and fitness background can certainly attend, yeah. um, but the majority of people who come along are from the health and fitness background. Um, and then, yeah, the full day course covers a little bit into the power taping, which we talked about before. Yeah. The half day course really is just about taping individual muscles and joints, a little bit of postural taping, a little bit of inflammation taping. Uh, but yeah, full day course covers all that in a great more depth, plus pregnancy taping, plus the power taping as well. Yeah. Um, in regards with the, the postural taping, which you just mentioned as well, um, what are what are the key benefits of doing that? Does it um, help people uh, just stay in a good posture, or is it retraining the muscles? How does that kind of work? Yeah, it's one of those things that uh, it's about trying to retrain people and, and try and get that sort of muscle memory of the, the correct position. So yeah. because rock tape is very stretchy, it's uh, it almost doubles in length. When when you put tape on. Uh, people, if you put rigid tape, they're really restricted and held back into the, you know, what we kind of consider the ideal posture, but it means they can't do normal activities where we need to actually reach forward and get out of certain postures as well. Yeah. So the benefit of using um, rock tape for that is that it does stretch. So you can put somebody in a good posture that will remind them about where they need to be, yeah. but they can still move and the tape will move with them in order to do what they need to do but then it kind of gives them a reminder, a bit of a recoil back to the right position as well. So it's a, a subtle reminder of where to be. Um, obviously, that's important if people are in a gym or, or sporting environment because yeah. it's it's easy when somebody's cueing you and, and you can look in a mirror and you can sort of get your feedback either verbally or visually. Yeah. But once you're out into a situation where there's more going on, uh, then you can really feel it and you get that sort of kinesthetic feedback, which is, uh, which is really valuable. Yeah, awesome. Um, can you only use uh, rock tape on humans or are there other applications as well? Um, we've got a, a whole other manual and a whole other type of tape, which is uh, rock tape equine, so the horses, um, and that's uh, using the stickier adhesive again to, to make sure it sticks well to the horse's coat. Uh, so there's a whole uh, whole other realm of taping and taping courses um, that are run under the equine banner. Um, so if people are interested in that, they can certainly look at the rock tape equine side of things. Yeah. Uh, and we've just developed a rock tape canine taping guide as well. So there's a couple of uh, small animal vets and, and small animal physios that are using uh, rock tape on, on dogs as well. And again, that's the, the stickier equine sort of base tape that they're using, but uh, those those taping guides are available as well if people want to start taping their horses or their dogs. Yeah, awesome. Um, so in regards to other uh, products and services that you guys offer, is there anything else that you guys kind of focus on or is it just the rock tape, the kinesio tape? 
Yeah, we've got a number of other products as well. The the, um, the, the sort of mantra behind Rock Tape is that we're more than a taping company, we're a movement company. Yeah. Um, so we've got a lot of um, different products now that are based on either gym type stuff. So for the gym area, we've got knee sleeves, which are called knee caps. Yeah. Uh, we've got rock guards, which are a, a protection for shins for... Uh, lifting like deadlifts and things like that and also for rope climbs for the CrossFit population. Um, There's talons which are a glove which can be uh, used again for rope climbs or or lifts. Uh, Even mountain bikers and obstacle course racers are are using those. Uh, And then we've also got a whole range of mobility products. So uh, there's a rock and roller uh, which is like a foam roller, um, rock balls, which are spiky balls. Um, so you get one spiky ball, one smooth ball um, yeah. to do your myo- self myofascial releases with. Um, and then rock bands as well, which are the um, resistance bands that you can use for mobility or resistance work. So yeah. there's a number of other products now available as well. Cool. Um, is there much uh, research done on rock tape currently? Uh on the like the positive effects of it um yeah there's more and more all the time um the trouble with a lot of the research is that it's really easy to get 50 healthy uni students and test these things on healthy uni students and unless you're looking for the right things there's a lot of studies that come back saying that there's not really a great deal of effect but if you tape a healthy person and don't make them do very much at all, then you won't really see much effect. So we can fairly well predict which studies we think are going to show more and which ones aren't going to show a whole lot. Um, When the the studies do look at a symptomatic population, so the people who are in pain, people who have had um, spinal cord injury, people who have had strokes, um, compromise in their system somehow, then the tape shows some really good effects. Um, there's there's certainly more research to be done, but in the reviews that have been done where they've collated a lot of different um, studies together, yeah. they've found some reasonable evidence that it reduces pain. It certainly doesn't make people stronger unless there's a reason why they're not as strong as they could be. Okay, yeah. So if you put it on a normal person, it won't make you lift more um, unless you've got a technique flaw, unless you've got pain that's inhibiting your, your muscle activation or something like that. But it certainly can't make a magic uh, you know, increase in your PB if you're technically sound and otherwise fit and healthy. Uh, unless you're doing repeated work and your your event is repetition, repetition, and in that case it might it doesn't make you lift more or, or run faster or jump higher, but it'll keep you going at that level for longer. So there's certainly some good research on the effect on of tape on fatigue now as well. Yeah. Uh, so you mentioned that Rock Tape's more of a uh, a movement company. Um, what what is it that they're kind of working towards long term? What what kind of changes do they want to see like within the fitness industry? Uh, over a period of time. So with, with my business, I'm looking at trying to change the fitness industry, making it uh, a lot better and uh, change the um, direction, the negative trend of obesity in Australia. So trying to get um, it coming back down uh, rather than have the positive trend. So what's what's Rock Tape working towards as a, a movement company in the future? Yeah, really just in expanding on um, the, the idea of, of taping and, and obviously... Uh, the, whilst the rock tape has, um, I guess, a reputation as being a sports tape, um, clinically we see lots of uh, improvements in taping people who've got, uh, say, an arthritic knee and, and getting them a bit more mobile um, by reducing some of their pain. So it's, it's tied into that really in terms of utilising some of the other things like balls, bands, rollers, etc., to try and increase people's activity levels but it can be really effective in decreasing the barriers to movement if where if pain is a barrier and for a lot of people it is with chronic low back pain or knee pain or shoulder pain and and they get out of exercise because it's just too hard it's too painful yeah so we might start with something like the tape to reduce the symptoms and then we can start introducing other movement based things with them um, and resistance work and things like that okay awesome um, so I guess how is how is Rock Tape different to other Kinesio Tape brands then? 
Um, as I said, it's a, it's a premium tape in terms of it uses a really high-grade nylon um, and cotton blend. So um, all the kinesiology kinesiology tapes should be low allergy because they all use an acrylic glue yeah. it's just the quality of the glue um, when it comes out of korea then we know that the quality control is really really good uh, yeah. most of the cheaper um, generic branded tapes come out of china uh, the quality control is not really great and what you get one batch might vary greatly from the next batch um, so certainly the, the product is superior in that it's consistent and it uses high quality materials. Uh, but then we also try and give as, as much information to people as we can. So you don't have to subscribe to our uh, website. You don't have to pay anything to be able to see the videos or um, see any information that we have. So we use a very much a, a sort of an open philosophy in terms of sharing knowledge and sharing the Uh, and also we, we tend to try and teach concepts because we know that everybody is different in, in how they're going to respond to the tape. So one uh, taping application is never going to fix everybody. Yeah. Um, so we try and teach the way that you put it on and the general principles, but then we encourage people to adapt that to the person in front of them or themselves if they're taping themselves. Uh, rather than stick to a very strict recipe because uh, we know that you know, recipes don't work for, for humans. We're all different. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, is that kind of why uh, Rock Tape, um, you kind of work for Rock Tape then uh, compared to other companies? So obviously there's other companies that you could work for being highly specialised um, and highly knowledgeable. Is that kind of what uh, attracted you to Rock Tape then originally or...? Yeah, initially quality of the product really because uh, I've used other kinesiology tapes, generic branded kinesiology tapes in the past. Um, Rock Tape came to Australia in 2010, so I've been a physio for about 15 years by then uh, and dabbled with other tapes um, and, yeah, they were okay but they tended to fall off. Um, yeah. So they just didn't have the, the durability and you kind of think, well, if you're putting it on and as soon as someone starts running or playing sport it falls off, you kind of you know, think, oh, well, it's not it's not worth it. We might as well use something else. So, and, yeah. and a lot of uh, sports physios had found the same thing in elite sport. They, they like the concept. It makes sense to have a flexible, stretchy tape and not limit movement with rigid tape all the time. Um, but the product just wasn't there. It kept falling off. Um, I actually had a, a calf injury. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sceptical usually about these sort of things, and, and most of physios are much the same in terms of being very sceptical. But yeah. um, usually when they feel it on themselves, it's kind of a, a wow sort of light bulb moment, and you kind of think, oh, what's this going to do? And I had a calf injury. I was playing soccer and uh, just had chronic calf tightness that half time I was sort of really limping and uh, and I was sent some samples of rock tape just to uh, to test it out and see what I thought and yeah. I applied it and played the, the next game and didn't get any calf tightness when I'd applied it to my calf and I thought, oh, that's that's too good to be true. It can't possibly be. So I didn't wear it the next game and uh, and I was limping around at half time again. So most of the time uh, when we when we have people at courses, when they have a, a sort of real wow moment themselves like that, that's when they're kind of convinced that, yeah, there's something more to this. It's not just uh, a bright-coloured placebo piece of uh, sticky tape. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was sort of where my interest came from with rock tape because it, it stayed for, stayed on for the, the whole game and, uh, and and for days after that as well um, and it really made a difference so I thought yeah I've got to, got to learn more about this and, and that's how I got involved. So. Yeah yeah awesome so I've got a kind of similar story as well so uh, I was just seeing lots of allied health professionals just to manage my injuries all the time um, and like they would sometimes apply rock tape and that would help during but then like a couple of days later if I tried to put it on it wouldn't be as as good so that's kind of why i wanted to go to do the course to be able to learn more about it and then within like learning how to do it within that week i was able to apply it properly and i kind of did have that wow moment when i was training later that week just doing weights because i've got so many injuries um i was basically spending a couple hundred dollars a week on allied health professionals and i could just cut that right back just to be able to get my body in the right position myself through using rock tape so like my i've got a leg length difference so it means that my knee comes in because my whole chain of the body goes out. So 
left glute doesn't fire properly, uh, left, uh, sorry, right glute, uh, right VMO doesn't fire properly, so the knees uh, doesn't track properly and all the way through up to my left shoulder and stuff like that. So it's just getting treatment for that all the time um, and spending hundreds of dollars a week on it. And then just basically, instead of just doing that, moving more to just managing it with rock tape to be able to get it in the right position. So it's more the, the postural changes to get it tracking properly. Uh, just meant that I could cut down those expenses heaps uh, just by using rock tape. So that was a, one of those really wow moments that kind of changed my perception of it as well. So it was really good. Um, and the content of the course was extremely educational to be able to use for uh, both me and my clients as well. So good job on creating that content for the courses then. Fantastic, great to hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you have any more to add? So I think we've gone through uh, most of the, the information we want to go through today. Is there anything else you want to add that we want to talk about on uh, Rock Tape or anything along those lines? Well, I think that's we covered most things and certainly if people want more information, they can head, head to our website and there's lots of information available on that uh, and videos to watch if they want to try and check out how to tape for various injuries and things. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So uh, you guys on social media as well, so uh, Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that? Yeah, Rock Tape Australia for um, Instagram and Facebook. Um, and again, lots of different information, lots of different posts on how people have taped various injuries and things like that as well. So there's some uh, some interesting stuff comes through there uh, most weeks as well. Uh, recent research that's been published, we usually link it through our social media and, and put a link through the website as well just so people can keep up to date with all that stuff. Yeah, so it's why I really like Rock Tape as well. They put out all of their content rather than a lot of companies will just have that kind of private, private kind of group where they share everything. Um, that people have to pay for and Rock Tape just gives everything out. So it's just great to be able to help educate uh, all athletes, coaches and greater community on that as well. So good work on that. Um, if someone wants to, has a direct question for you, what's the best way to get in contact with you? Uh, they can just email me, which is steve at rocktape.com.au. So S-T-E-V-E at rocktape.com.au. If you've got a specific uh, question on anything, injury or uh, how to tape for something like that, um, otherwise, you can message through Facebook and uh, and that will find its way to me as well. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Steve. I uh, look forward to getting this content out there and thanks again. That's all right. No problem. My pleasure. Thank you for listening to Chasing Gains Radio. Be sure to use the Chasing Gains Radio hashtag on all social media. If you have any questions, queries, or comments about the podcast, use this hashtag. Thanks again for listening to Chasing Gains Radio. Be sure to share and like this podcast to help spread the Chasing Gains movement.